Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement where I'm looking disheveled because I am preparing for a yard sale. <laughs> but I need to squeeze in the boys. This is season four, episode two, because episode four just dropped. Everyone's dropping their faces going, ah, and I, I'm falling behind. I'm falling behind. So who knows when I will actually have this up on YouTube, but I'm watching episode two now. And, and okay, so Homelander is an acting a plan thought up by Sister Sage, Sage, just Sage, right, Sage, to basically make non-superhero people fight each other to the death, leaving the world to superheroes, right? That's, that's the end goal. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> but there was one thing that made me go, <laughs> okay, Butcher was talking to somebody. We weren't sure who at first we saw it was Rebecca, Becca, Becca. Just prior to that, Huey's dad in the hospital with a stroke. It was it a natural stroke or did somebody help him stroke Victoria? I wonder. Mm -hmm. But Huey saw his mom. And I couldn't remember if Huey's mom had left or if she died. And if she died, does that mean Huey's seeing his mother like Butcher saw Becca and Huey's brain has been more affected by the, the V than he thought it was? I guess we'll find out if Mama's real or not, but I'm excited to get to it and I'm so glad that you are here with me as well. So we're gonna get under the big cozy blanket and I'm gonna have my water because I'm dehydrating. I am hydrating right now. I hope you have your favorite beverage. You're gonna remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. You're gonna hit subscribe. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time and you're gonna send me those virtual hugs, right? Right, okay y'all. Let's get to it. Ah, oh, she's already tweaking. Yo, jeez. Oh, wait, why? Why, A train, why? Oh, this must be a Vought film. This must be a Vought film. Thought you were too sick to practice. When's the last time you had a decent meal? Come on. Mary's always happy to have you at the table. Yeah, you're, you're throwing it all away, slinging yayo for gangbangers? You don't know me, Coach. Come back with me. To the suburbs. To the suburbs. Yeah, what I want doesn't matter. Never be free of these streets. Cut! Holy fuck. That was fucking perfect. Then why did you cut then? Feral fucking Streep. Feral, Feral Streep. What is that smell? Is that you? I had falafel for lunch. I smell an Oscar nomination. <laughs> Shut up, man. No. Let's sidebar here a little bit. Let's sidebar. Wait, wait, you know what? One more tiny little thing. You said what I want doesn't matter. But as scripted, it's actually what I want don't matter, okay? Training A train. Training A train. Hey, can we talk? No, you you're not supposed talk. to. It's like you're one thing. Look, playing noir has been a meaningful challenge. Plain noir. Before. Does Homelander make us kill people like a lot? And when he does, we just do it? Mm hmm. I am stoked to be here and I am down to ride the wave. I'm just having trouble with Noir's motivation. You feel me? His motivation is being a brain dead maniac. So, what is this guy's powers that he's able to be Noir? What were Noir's powers? Just physical fighting skills? For deep moisturizing and arginine. What is all that? Uh, I'm a vitality consultant. Vitality. Vitality? You know Vought killed my girlfriend, right? I'm literally fighting them right now. I think I have rosemary oil. So mom is alive and did not die previously. Okay. Mom, stop. Just stop. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. Sorry. 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 Just. Why are you there? Why are you there? Good. 
got tall. Yeah, that adds up. Since the last time you saw me, I was six fucking years old! That's been a long time. The hospital call. Yeah, when they couldn't reach me. And I'm here now, so... He doesn't need you. Neither of us do. Your dad didn't tell you. They've been dating? He gave me power of attorney and he signed a DNR. When was that? Well, I mean, we've been talking the last year or two. I, I, I can handle this. I promise. You promise? Just like you promised to be my mom. You know what I mean? Emotionally, spiritually, wholly, not just biologically. You leave the money on the dresser. <laughs> he has a concussion. He should be in the hospital. Or at least checked over by a medical professional. What did he see in that picture? Gloria has filled me in on the work you've been doing. How's that been going? Oh, they are making her go to therapy. Making her or offering her? Psychological mutism is often a symptom of trauma in one's past. What do you think about that? I couldn't agree more. Hmm. Sometimes you have to confront your past in order to be free of it. <laughs> Tell me about your parents. You're just telling us now. How long you got? Oh, oh, he told him. I can't with his stash. The stash... The stash is gonna throw me every time. You're done. <gasps> you will buy it. What? You shouldn't get the fuck out. What? Motherfucker, you've been lying to us for the last six months. Got like the pop I think going. Now grab your shit, get the fuck out. And he's gonna run into the arms of Jeffrey D. Morgan. Join him if you don't like it. Would he? Small town kid grows up on a Montana ranch with his mom. On the surface, he's an everyday... Oh, this is a Ryan film? He always knew he was destined for greatness. Because he came from greatness. <laughs> Homeboy. Homeboy. Oh, buddy, can you believe that? <laughs> I think it looks amazing. Really marketable. So marketable. The whole pitch blows. <laughs> Does not blow. It blows harder than Nancy Reagan on the MGM backlog. <laughs> That's a poll. Ryan is the first natural born superhero. Let's not forget why he is special. He's my son. Chosen by God. Sure, but uh Hollywood's trained people to fall in love with white boy loan saviors. So America will want to fall in love with Ryan. Crime itinerary. Your first save. Congratulations, son. You won a kingdom for your son. I'm helping you get it. By you not being a part of it in the capacity you think you deserve? Ah, if you don't mind. I'm here because Homelander wants me here. Because he trusts me. For now? I swear I need to get shirts that just say for now, and then I can just go... Except it would probably go for now, as most shirts do on me. You cannot talk to Homelander like that. I'm telling you the truth. If I were you, I'd make myself useful. You want to get some lactation going and let him suck on those titties before you end up like Madeline Stillwell. <laughs> Just the girl boss I wanted to see. Hey, so I heard that Ryan's doing his first solo save. What if I was there? Then it wouldn't be solo. You want to join a family-friendly PG save? While PETA still has you on their bestiality watch list. Stupid people who think they're smart make me want to eat my own shit. <laughs> Why do you let her talk to you like that? Ooh. You are a genetically superior being and she's the evolutionary equivalent of a capybara. You're better than her. Oh, Sage gonna stir up shit everywhere? Should be at the save. That's a good idea. Oh. Sage is stirring a big pot of something. What are her powers? Smartest person on the planet. I've already tapped Sage's cell phones. Who's down for a little road trip? You know what? 
If A train framed those two starlighters, I'm gonna take a run at him. Uh, oh, why? Why are you taking a run at him? You two are with me. Oh, look, she made a cute little penis and balls. <laughs> Hurry up, get the money. Uh, wait. <laughs> um. Lights out, you fucking muff taco. Wait. Um. Did they just kill the practice team? What are we supposed to do? Did he just kill the, the stunt team guy? It's gonna be okay. Do you promise? I promise. It's good. I feel like it's more in character if I come into the sky. You fucking talk. Sorry. Still talking. <laughs> uh, is Homelander gonna get a new, new noir? On the day, you're gonna throw me for real. I can take it. Yeah, did I look dumb? You really, you gotta put your back into it, you know? You really gotta sell it. Are all saves like this? Like with stunt people and rehearsals and stuff? No, of course some of them are real. I've, I've saved a lot of people. And you killed a bunch more. You wanna rehearse the throw a few times? Great huh? idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Sure, sure. I just realized I cannot remember Homelander's first name. I want to say Aaron, but I don't think that's right. Do we ever hear? Got to remind me what's Homelander's actual first, you know, Deep's Kevin. You can't talk to me that way. I'm the, I'm the peak of human evolution, and you're just, you're just a Capabarnia. I am the Lord of the Seven Seas. You talk to me like that again, and I will drown you in your fucking toilet, you stupid bitch, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, Ashley, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Out of my way, kid. That kid's face is made for the big screen. Complexion like butter. Thank God. You're brushing the wrinkles out of the Dawn of the Seven, put VFX nine mil over the budget. Someone's gonna get jealous. Someone's gonna get jealous. I think Sage will know that they're coming already. Motherfucker. Oi, oi. <laughs> Fancy some steamed tray eggs? How the fuck did you find us? God. Your password's Janine2012. Welcome to the monkey house. Oh no. You might get what you're after. Oh no. Why is the world's smartest person in a place such as this? To cause trouble. This is a terrible reaction. Love America, love America. Oh, the triplets. Fun. Oh, oh, no. Oh, steps. Okay. Splinter. Splinter. Um, so our next speaker. Maybe I should have brought a cocktail with me. So please join me in welcoming author. Filmmaker and a leading voice of the alt suit movement on YouTube, Firecracker. Howdy there, truth seekers! Hey! We got ourselves a national crisis. Oh no. Darla works with Oprah and Tom Hanks to set up a satanic home delivery service. An order of a hot dog gets you a boy, a taco, a girl. See what he's up to. Coincidence? But do not engage. Right. <laughs> if you add up, I had to go wah, 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 she was talking because I know I've heard this before. Hey, stop. No, give it back. <laughs> Are you drunk? Yeah, that's right, she is. Kimiko, you need that therapist badly. But it's not about you. I swear. Oh. 
You're not supposed to engage. Now? They're doing this now? They're doing this now. This isn't what it looks like. It's okay. And he doesn't question why why the two of them were there. Frenchie there. Okay, you wandered into the men's room, but go. People look up to you. No, they look up to Starlight. They look up to the suit. You're the one who wore it. You know, someone they can rally behind. A little fucking hope. That can be you. She's just, she's a symbol of so much bad shit. And I, I can't. I can't. She doesn't want to lead people, yet she's running this organization to help people, which is leading people. And we get a call from Boise, Idaho. There's a, a terrorist who's got, like, the whole movie theater held hostage. In Boise. Ran across the Rockies, took out the terrorist, disarmed the bomb. Why don't you tell them the truth? Oh, oh, bro's there. Bro is there. Uncle Reggie was just telling us about his saves. Hmm. You want to tell them, or should I? That was a sound stage in the Bronx. That terrorist? That was a stunt, man. Those mountains? They added those in post. I know because I was there. Was that true? Dude. Dude. You never actually saved anyone. Ever? As in ever, ever? Your uncle is no hero. And I don't want you anywhere near him. Ever, ever. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. I told them that I couldn't speak to them again until they did their own research. It's been three years now. Do you actually believe all of this? But I'm a suit. Sister Sage, I work with Homelander. Bullshit. <laughs> Oh, there's a chance you could meet him. First, I want to see your powers, though. Ooh. Wow, that is lackluster. Look, what's important is, what are you selling? Hmm. I'm here to share the truth. What are you selling? Did I stutter? Purpose. These people got nothing. How much would you rather believe that you belong to a community of warriors battling a secret evil, or that you're a lonely, inconsequential nobody that no one will ever remember? Deep's Blue Sea Room, 9 p.m. Deep's Blue Sea Room. So the deep has a room that is blue in the sea. Is that it? Or is it a restaurant or is it a bar? Let's just grab a work her over and remember what we need. Hey, this is surveillance only. You sit tight and watch me do your job. Mm. You're a shit skipper, you are. You're going to get this bloody lot killed. And you ain't willing to do what it takes to run this mob. Because you ain't got the bollocks, son. Nice try, Butcher. I have a thought. But it ain't gonna work. I have a thought. Yeah, ain't that what your wife said? <laughs> I thought maybe this time, maybe you and I could just, just be fucking brothers again. Just go home, man. I think M.M., -M, if he was just a little bit more psychotic like Butcher, could probably do the job. Kimiko, why are you still drinking? Hey! Ooh. Yeah, it took you long enough to get here from Trenton. Traffic, am I right? What the fuck are you doing here? Hmm. Here. On what? What is this? Security cam footage of your two starlighters. About a mile from the bodies of time and death. Why are you giving this to us? Because my brother made me feel bad about my choices. You could have gotten my face in front of my family, but you didn't. Thank you, Ian. I would have blasted the shit out of you, and you would have deserved it. Yeah, I agree. So how much did he read? How much did he read? Now you gotta move to your headquarters. <laughs> Okay. Who are? What the fuck? What the heck are we supposed to do? Oh. Oh. So it wasn't a movie. You're going to be okay. It was the save. Does this little girl know she's in on it? Who are you? My name is 
Ryan, we're gonna save America together. Go. Do it now. Do it now. Holy shit. It's okay, everyone. It's okay. Everything's under control. You saved me. Ah. Uh, you killed a man, little boy. You killed a man. I thought we weren't killing the guys today. I just feel like I'm not getting clear direction for this role. What was Deep gonna do on land to help shave the day? They're pretty certain that room's gonna be empty today then. I take it. So that's the name of the conference rooms. Right, okay, okay. They should send Kimiko home. She is a liability. She said 9 p.m. in a deep blue sea room. I sure did. Toss three guns. Marvin, did you really think you could tail me without me knowing? So what now? These assholes are CIA, genuine deep state moles. And Homelander would like it if you kill them. Hmm. Consider it your final audition. You're not as impressive as I heard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Please. What are you doing? Oh, being guy. It's too much sell at tossing, huh? No, 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 no. It's allergies. Big guy, big guy. Now! Oh, 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 and as if this isn't heard all throughout the hotel. He's gotta make more of himself. Oh, no. Hell no. Work faster. He's just gonna keep making more of himself. Well, this is why nobody heard, and they just left Kimiko in the room by herself. Oh God, why, why is this bat mitzvah? Why is this at the same hotel as that convention? Wow. Wow, what a theme. What a theme. So what they? Are you sure? Oh. Are you gonna try to be the chocolate fountain? That's gonna take way too long, Frenchie. Just hit him with it. But then your hands are all slippery with the chocolate. Storm has arrived. Splinter and I are being attacked by CIA agents. The proof is right here. Now I'm calling on all the Firecracker! No! You're gonna let me smack your girl like that? No wonder she puts you in the friend zone, mate. Shot. We didn't need that camera angle right then. Get the boys out of here! <laughs> Lenora, they smack with a Lenora. What happens if Prime dies? We loved you. You know, you all. Oh. oh. For reals. Not like duplicate. Well, I guess like duplicate. <laughs> so, how are you going to clean this up? Who wants a creamy, delicious milkshake? Hmm? It's okay. Don't worry. 
Okay, don't worry. You'll get plenty of solo saves, I promise. I killed Koi. That's what you're upset about? I know. I know. However, I'm still outraged. <laughs> Humans are fragile. Can't save them all. But isn't that our job? Look, Koi died doing what? You can't go around feeling bad about what you are because a few things break. You are destined for so much more. You're chosen, young man. Sooner or later, you gotta accept it. I'm gonna let a shit bag like Adrian step up, but I won't. <laughs> Oh, they're all in their feels today. Well, I'm glad those meetings have been working out for you, Frenchie. Mm, speaking of. Sorry, Colin can't talk. I almost died today and I'm working through things. You look like shit. Oh, he, I was like, when was this video? It's a Zoom. You remember Colin Hauser? The judge's son? I saw him. At a... Oh. Narcotics Anonymous. Oh. Did he recognize you? Well, obviously not. For fuck's sake, Serge, what is it with you and taking in strays all the time? Everything led to another and... So what happens when he finds out you murdered his family? Your promise isn't worth the piece of paper it's printed on. The day you left it, it was a Friday. And you promised to buy us tickets to Billy Joel... Billy Joel. That was the last I ever saw you. I spent a week standing by the front door telling Dad you'd be back. Because why wouldn't you be? You promised. <laughs> From now on, you don't talk to the doctor without me. You don't make any medical decisions without me signing off. And if you don't like it, I'll take you to court. I'll challenge you for power of attorney. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> Your past is not who you are. Was that what she kept saying? Hmm. Hmm. You saved our asses. You should have left me. To be a good skipper, you've got to be a right asshole. Ain't no room for compassion. The right move to make was to nab that cunt Sage. Instead, you walk the boys into a trap and then risk their lives to save some twat who's gonna be dead in six months. All the compassion. I look back at my life, and all I see are the messes I made, and I ain't got time to fix it. Maybe I can do one thing right. Get Ryan safe. I can't do it without you. Please. What about Jeffrey? Too fucking little butcher. Too fucking late. Really? Huh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, then I'll just... This seems to be the season of the swinging dick so far. <laughs> Between this and black sails. Okay. My, my little blurring... Oh, my editing is getting a workout. Okay. So, if we've been told what we've been told, we've been, none, none of the superheroes have actually ever saved anyone. I can't believe Maeve hasn't saved somebody at some time, but they're all, it's all manufactured? Or some of it, the important, the ones to get the biggest media buzz are manufactured because we started with an a-train movie that's what i thought we were talking about was ryan movie but no it wasn't don't trust a-train never will ever 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 and what else did he see will that come back later i wonder why we're bringing huey's mom back now hmm yeah, because we're starting the season, everything is still, the pieces are being laid out 
we're flipping the puzzle pieces, trying to get them formulated some way so we can put the puzzle together. So I'm intrigued by what we are seeing. We had to know, Sage knew, there was no way she didn't know Marvin was there. There was no way. It was, they were, <laughs> didn't quite look like the demographic of this convention. They kind of started out some, especially when Kimiko is losing her mind. And Frenchie and the judge's son. Is this a side storyline we need going forward? What I also find extra hmm, is uh, Homelander being a little jealous, just a smidge jealous of Ryan. If he's going to take out his son for being more popular eventually, maybe the chosen one. Homelander wasn't the chosen one. Ryan's the chosen one, the special child. And when are we going to get Gen V people in? We know they're coming. We just don't know. Mm-hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, there we go. Episode two, plenty more to go. And I do want you there with me on those adventures. So remember, if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you know when the next one drops will be eventually, hopefully soon, depending on how this weekend goes. <laughs> My next month is crazy pants. It's crazy pants. But I want you there with me when I watch these shows because it's so much more fun when we do this together. So please take care of yourselves. Stretch stretch again and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all and until next time